this morning we are doing another Tabata. Do you remember the Tabata I did with Mrs. Steer um, and Miss Rowland where we did timed intervals? So we've got high intensity with a little bit of rest, okay? Well, we have got four rounds of the Tabata today. So we've got 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off in each of those rounds and then a minute rest between each one. Okay, so Aya, you can time your stopwatch as well. You could use that, couldn't you? So you could see where you are if you can't hear me. Um, so we'll do a little bit of a warm up and then we will get straight into it. Oh, Move that over there so it's not too loud. Right, just start with a march for me. I'm going to time now. I'm timing. Let's move this back with marching. Mm -hmm. Right, we're going into a job. Try and emphasize every third step. And hop side to side. Are we going to get ready for the polo jumps? So two feet together, forward and backwards, and side to side. Forward and backwards, and side to side. Okay, now jog again, emphasize your first step. Try and get a knee high on the third. Try and get a knee high on the third. And we're going into a hop again. Make that hop wider. I feel, I feel like going in for it. Okay, into a skip. Get ready for the pogo jump. Forward to backwards. Side to side. Make those jumps bigger if you can. Side to side. And jog. Hanging on three. Get that knee higher. Okay, mute all. Right. Thank you for your input, though. I, I appreciate that you're a timekeeper this morning. Right. Hopefully <laughs> that's worked. Right. So round one of our Tabata is going to be jumping jacks with variations. So we, each round, as I said, is three minutes with a one minute rest in between. But each of those rounds will have 20 seconds on, 
10 seconds rest between activities. So you'll get lots of recovery throughout the workout. Because we get lots of recovery in a Tabata, I want you to really push yourselves as hard as you can for the 20 seconds that we're active for. Does that make sense? Yeah? So it's as high intensity as it can be, but remember you always get 10 seconds rest after you've pushed yourself. So your heart rate should come up and down slightly. But the idea is it tries to remain quite high, okay, throughout the workout. The one minute rest round will help us recover. So we're energized, ready for round two, round three and four. Okay, so you're all with me? Good. Right, I'm gonna start my time running because the time is important today so we don't go over our 20 second intervals. Right, so the first one will be a standard jack, which is this one here. The second jacks will be a power jack. And then the final one will be squat to power jack, okay? For each of those rounds, there'll be two minutes, uh, two rounds of normal jacks, two rounds of power jacks, and two rounds of touch floor power jacks, okay? And that will take us to three minutes. Right, let's get going. Okay, we are going in 20 seconds, guys. We'll just turn that a little bit so you can see a bit better. So remember, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going in 10 seconds. Get ready for standard jacks. Three, two, one, off we go as fast as you can. Fast as you can. Fast as you can, make those arms and legs move quickly. 10 seconds to go. Fast as you can. Five seconds. And relax. 10 seconds to rest, and then we're doing the same thing. Going in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Fast as you can. Fast as you can, arms and legs. Keep pushing, 10 seconds to go. All my legs are tiring already. Five to go. And relax. Right, we're going to power jacks this time. In five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Keep pushing those arms and legs. Halfway. And relax. Right, we've got another power jacks. Five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go again. High intensity. Keep pushing. Five seconds to go. And relax for 10 seconds. Right, the next one, touch the floor into a power jack. Three, two, one, off we go. Halfway there. And relax. That's a hard one, isn't it? Five seconds. Three, two, one. Keep pushing hard. You've got a minute of rest coming. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Woo. And relax. Okay, round two. Okay, we have got a front support with shoulder taps. So we come here and we touch our shoulders. So we do two of those. <coughs> then we've got plank jacks where our feet come out and in. And then we've got 
half burpees. So 20, 20, front support taps, 20, 20 of the power jacks, uh, plank jacks, and then half burpees. Is everyone okay? This is the right way for call this morning, isn't it? After that nice week of no nine o'clock zooms. We have got 20 seconds left, guys, and then we're going again. So get ready for round two. 10 seconds to go. Get ready. My music's gone for some reason. We'll carry on without it. Okay, down for shoulder taps. Off we go. This is where you can get your recovery here because it's low intensity, so you can get your breath back. Keep pushing hard, keep that nice static body. Don't let your body rock too much. And relax for 10 seconds. Okay, we're gonna repeat that one. See if I can make the music come on again. I don't think it wants to go. Oh, there we go. And we go again, shoulder taps. Keep that body still. 10 seconds to go. Five to go. And relax. Okay, get ready. We've got plank jacks coming next. Going in five seconds. Three, two, one. Try and move those legs in and up nice and quickly. Halfway there. Five to go. And relax for 10 seconds. Get ready, three, two, one, up we go, fast plank legs again. Off we go, guys. Five to go. And relax. Okay, half burpees coming. In three, two, one, off we go. Five seconds left.
Ironman one this morning. I can't even talk yet. Let me just get my breath back. Have a drink if you've got a drink. What a good one to start our week though. Right, we're gonna do our stretches on the floor because I'm tired. <laughs> so find a bit of space on your floor. Just bring your feet into your body. And we're gonna push those knees down towards the floor, keeping our back nice and straight. Give those legs a little bounce. And take in some oxygen. Get that oxygen back into your bloodstream. Okay, take that foot out in front. Bring the other leg over. Give that knee a nice hug. Feel a stretch down in your glutes. Gonna rotate around towards our bent leg and feel a better, bigger stretch. Okay, swap legs. Pull that in. Turn away from your stretch. Put that leg in. Feel a stretch deep into your glutes. Okay, cross your legs over. Reach your hands forwards. Try and get your head as low to the ground as you can. And then we're going to take that stretch over to the side. Try and keep your bottom on the floor for this one. So you really stretch it out all the side, lower down in your body, all the way down to your waist. And then take that over the other side. And take that stretch up, nice and tall. Bring those hands behind your back, pull your chest backwards. Okay, from this position, we're gonna come up slowly to standing. So put your feet on the ground, come into a deep squat, hold that squat position, and then uncurl nice and slowly. Let your hands trail up your legs all the way to the top. And you've lost me on my camera because my screen is pointing downwards. So stretch tall, bring one arm across, hug that one in, keep your shoulder nice and low. Stretch out your deltoid, your shoulder muscle, and then take that behind and stretch our triceps. And then we'll take that across the other side. And take it back again. And then one last stretch, we're gonna go up and down on our calves here. Really pull that toe up on your stretch. Feel that calf stretching out because that will be sore from our warm up as well if we don't loosen that up. And then change our legs over. So rocking up and down. Really working into this front calf. And rest. Okay, well done. Thank you for joining me this morning. Look at how sweaty I am now. It's a good job I'm in my kitchen and I can nip and have a shower upstairs. So I will see some of you if you want to join me this afternoon. We've got our two o'clock live Zoom session for more fitness workout if you'd like to join us. Um, if I don't see you this afternoon, I hopefully will see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so have a lovely week. Work hard these last two weeks, remember, and we'll get rewarded at the end of them by all of us being back in school together. Okay, right, have a lovely day and I will see some of you later and I'll see some of you tomorrow. Bye.